Great Memorial Day weekend, boaters. I am Keith McGowan, the Outboard Dad, here to help you have a better boating experience. It's time to go four-stroke. It's time to get into it. Most of you have watched my videos, have seen mostly two-stroke stuff that I've worked on. Sure, I've done some maintenance, some water pumps, and basics for four-strokes, oil changes, you know. But we're going to get into this one. This is a Suzuki 2006, I believe, and 150 horsepower that I picked up and it has milky oil they said now when i went there to pick it up i had to kind of renegotiate the price he wanted extra because it had a stainless steel prop uh, there is a crack in the uh, lower unit housing which is kind of common for a lot of these suzuki's but that's when i went and just did a quick overview of the motor i was getting it cheap enough not to be too concerned because milky oil there's a reason for it right let me know please comment what you believe the problem is with this Suzuki four-stroke motor, how come I have, or how come they had milky oil. So then I went to turn the flywheel and it was locked up. Now, as you can see, the cover was, is missing off of my um, head here. So yeah, they had it covered up in plastic or whatever, or the, the hood on it, but I sprayed it all down. I sprayed some fogging oil in the cylinders and I got, did get it to move, but I'm not sure if we even have spark or anything else. So what do you think? What do you think the problem is? And is this worth rebuilding? Is it the head is the problem? I've heard some people say that. Is it the block that's a problem? I've had some people down in North Carolina say, yeah, we got blocks and heads for these used that are fine. You can buy them 500 bucks for a block, couple hundred bucks for a head. Yeah, it's a lot of work changing over all the valves and springs, and now you're getting seals. Should you do the seats? Right? There's a lot of th more things to be concerned about than a two-stroke, which is a lot simpler engine. But let's face it, four-stroke is where we're going. It's where the outboards are made now. It's basically all you can get new, unless you live overseas or you have somebody that can ship you something uh, from overseas that's two-stroke because they're not selling in the United States. That being said, I'd like to know your opinion. Don't, don't forget my used outboard motor buying guys for sale on Amazon for $20. Keep in mind, I am going to update the, this guide, number one. Number two, I'm going to update the description. This is a basic. It is not gr in great detail. This is designed to be a quick reference when, to grab when you're going out to check out a motor or a boat that you're looking to purchase. So I did get uh, one feedback there, that uh, one comment that I'm going to address in my up upcoming video that it wasn't worth the $20. I totally understand where that gentleman's coming from. Uh, I'm not sure who it was. I have to look that up, but we're going to address that in my next episode and also update things so that I make sure that what I'm providing for you guys is what you're looking for. What are we going to do first here? Let me know your suggestions. Should I jump right in and tear this down? Or I'm thinking we'll put the cover back on, we'll get a couple spark plugs in the coils here, crank it over, because it will crank over, it is loose, it's not completely locked up now since I sprayed it up, or should we wait? Now there's no oil in it, so I'm going to go ahead and put some oil in it, and then we're going to crank this over, see if we have sparks, see what the compression is, if any. What damage do you think got done, and what do you think should be done with this motor? Please like, subscribe, send me any comments that you have, and we look forward to diving into this project deeper and see what the value is of these motors if you're in this situation and what we should do. Have a great day.